Hi, I'm Jess, welcome to our channel. So this edition we're talking how to dress classy, elegant and expensive without spending a fortune. The idea of somehow being more stylish just because you spent more money is nonsense really. I don't agree with that at all. I buy an awful lot of my clothes from the high street and I think there's a certain way of styling them to make them look more expensive than they are because really it's not about how much you spend, it's about how you wear it that counts. So first up, we're gonna look at accessories because I think this is an area where a lot of people go wrong before they've even started. For me, if you want to look classy and elegant, less is definitely more. I would say minimal on accessories. Even if you happen to have a ring that's 20,000 pounds, just wear the ring. Don't wear a necklace and earrings and a watch all at the same time, it's too much. Simplicity is the key with accessories. Strip it all back and just choose a few delicate pieces to make that look. So for my outfit today, I'm wearing a watch that I got from a brand called Fincero. They're actually based in California and they have a beautiful collection of timeless, elegant watches that I absolutely love. I went for the watch in the rose gold. I've got the Eros mesh version. So it's got a really elegant sized face, which I think is perfect. Do have a look at their website. I think you'll love their collection as much as we do. And they very kindly offered 15% off to all our subscribers. All you've got to do is add the code fashion15 at checkout to get that 15% off. So yes, I absolutely love that watch. I think it's definitely in keeping with the class elegant, expensive kind of look, and again, without spending a fortune. So in terms of accessorizing, that is pretty much all I would do when I'm wearing an outfit like this. Keep it simple, keep it classic, and that in turn will look more expensive and elegant. The easiest and probably most well-known way to look classy and elegant is to wear white. It's the oldest trick in the book, but it still works, so if it's not broke, don't try and fix it. I love white, actually, particularly through summer. It makes me feel crisp and clean, and then it instantly makes you look more elegant. So first up, I got this gorgeous midi dress from a brand that I hadn't heard of before. They're a small independent called Munda. You've got embroidery on top of chiffon and then little satin trims with the belt. You can see that this isn't mass produced. They've put a lot of thought and effort into the design and also the making of the dress. But with those couple of extra details, it looks a lot more expensive than it actually was. I think adding a beautiful tailored coat into any outfit suddenly elevates the look so much and instantly makes you look more elegant and chic. Now when I say investing, I've gone to Reese. I haven't gone to any of the huge designers. Although I do love Burberry coats, I can't buy them left, right and center. But I think it's worth investing in the higher end of the high street when you're thinking about coats and bags, etc. The thing to look out for is the cut. You want something quite tailored and then it's gonna be timeless and it's gonna be in your wardrobe for years. So I went for 100% wool. You've got lovely subtle buttons and I think always keep an eye out for buttons because that's often where an item can let itself down. If they put cheap buttons on something, it will look cheap. There's no getting around buttons. Personally, if I'm spending a tiny bit more, if it's not lined, I wouldn't buy it. You've got these darts here down the back. That will just make the cut so much nicer into your waist. So if you really start getting a bit of a beady eye on items, you can tell which pieces will look more expensive than they are. One, the positioning of the darts. Two, is it lined? What are the seams looking like? And three, the fabric and the texture that they've used. And all those elements together end up making it look more expensive than it actually was. The other dress I've picked out, which I would say is particularly on this train of thought of elegant, classy, and looking expensive, is this beautiful one I got from Reese. Now I think these tones of soft pink, soft blues, soft browns, 
those colors make you instantly think something is more expensive than it actually is. So try and be careful about the tone that you buy. I love the drop here over the chest portion. I think that falls really beautifully. It's lined in matching chiffon, which I think is a really nice and unusual detail. I've not seen that before. Lovely detail across the tummy with these pleats and eyelet details. That midi length is very, very elegant. When it drapes beautifully over your hips and it's got a slight flow to it as you walk and the tone is so subtle and elegant and pretty, that instantly for a high street dress, I think looks like it could have cost an absolute fortune when it definitely didn't. Another gorgeous dress I've got in my wardrobe that I would say is definitely along those classic elegant kind of lines is this beautiful dress I got from Reese. Now it's that gorgeous tone of blue that instantly looks very elegant and very chic. I often wear it by adding a little skinny belt just to nip in that waist a tiny bit more and I think that's the key with dresses is find the perfect fit for your shape. So for me, with a little black dress or a little blue dress, as it may be, the fit on this I think is really, really elegant. It nips in in all the right places and skims over the bits that perhaps I don't want to highlight. And I think having a really elegant dress like this in your wardrobe will become part of your capsule wardrobe for years to come. Another trick would be to look at the seams of any item you're buying. Some of the high street go to great lengths to make quality items and you can tell by the seams that they've done on the inside. So if they've done a French seam, you know that a little bit more time and effort has gone into it. Mango, I've noticed, are particularly good at doing that and it shows, it makes a difference to the quality. Everything just sits properly. So try and keep your eye out for things that have got a bit more detail, something a bit interesting about them either a bit of embroidery or the fabric that happens to drape really beautifully. Or maybe they've used a couple of different fabrics as they have on this dress. It just gives you texture. And if you've got a few different textures, it looks more expensive than it actually is. Now I've bought from all sorts of brands over the years. This one I'm wearing is actually from All Saints and I love it because of that lovely soft pink tone. The fabric has a gorgeous texture to it and then again you've got the lining that just comes over the top of the cuff. So really beautifully made, lovely, lovely colour and a simple piece to throw on top of whatever you're wearing and instantly feel like you've elevated your look. I've also got a cream blazer, which I mix and match with a lot with my outfits, often with blue jeans and a simple white t-shirt. And then I use my black blazer as well, which I think we've seen in a couple of different videos. So in terms of how much I spend, I would probably put the summer coat or blazer in my investment section because I would spend a tiny bit more on blazers than I would on the top underneath because I think that's where it makes a huge difference to the overall look. So onto handbags and the trick to looking more elegant and classy is to go for a structured handbag rather than anything too slouchy or bohemian. Now you know me, I love bohemian style, but if I'm particularly trying to look a bit cleaner, a bit more classy and elegant, I'll always use one of my more structured bags. You have to be conscious of the material they've used. Is it gonna last? Is it gonna keep that shape? Or is it gonna go really slouchy after a year of using it? Now you want a slightly stiffer kind of fabric or leather so that it's not all going to bag down and crease and then end up looking like a boho bag when it was once a structured bag. I got this one from Gap and I absolutely love it. I went for it in the black because I think it looks more polished and it looks more elegant. The key to this one is the simplicity. It's a very classic shape. If it's within your budget to buy a designer handbag, I'm with you. I've been lusting after a few beautiful handbags myself and I have got some in my wardrobe but I really didn't want to show you them in this video because I think the whole point is, what I truly believe is that you can create this look from the high street or from independent designers alone. You absolutely don't need to spend a fortune. If you happen to have the budget to be able to buy one, then great. But if you don't have the budget for that, you can 100% create this look without spending all that money too. 
So another trick to making your outfit look more expensive than it actually is, is by going vintage. Now my favorite, favorite dress in my entire wardrobe cost me $40 from a vintage store in LA. It was made in the 1950s by the WI of California. We were going for a special dinner that evening at a place called the Little Door in Los Angeles. If ever you're going to Los Angeles, I can highly recommend it. It's a really, really romantic restaurant. The subtle tone of cream with this gold embroidery it must have taken forever to do those pleats around the waistband, but it's so paid off. I think the details on this are gorgeous. So do keep an eye on your local vintage store. You can sometimes find some absolutely beautiful pieces for, what was that, less than 40 pounds. So that's it. Hopefully I've given you a bit of inspiration there and some tips on how I would style my outfits to make them look a bit more elegant, chic, and a bit more expensive looking. Think of it like a capsule wardrobe, a few investment pieces, some mid-price pieces, and then saving on a whole section of other pieces. If you can afford to buy tons of designer, then that's great and that's entirely up to you. But personally, for me, I think mixing and matching a few different brands, a few different price points is my favorite way to dress. Take care, we'll see you next time.